Yo guys, welcome to some more reaction videos. Today, we'll be react to a death battle between Magneto from Marvel versus Tetsuo from Akira. Now, before the video starts, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, plus turn the notification button for more future videos. Also, I'd be very pleased if you can recommend me some more videos you want me to react to. Put that in the comments. I really appreciate that. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Magneto, Marvel's mutant master of magnetism. Tetsuo Shima, Akira's telekinetic terror of Neo-Tokyo. These two maestros of kinesis have ignited revolution not just in their world, so but both have telekinetic, telekinetic powers, while Magneto is like using it for control metals, but I don't know what Akira uses it for, like, so... It's like, I wanna find out, I wanna see what this guy can do. In the short duration of modern civilization, likely no conflict tested humanity more than the Second World War. In the primary Marvel 616 universe, this fact is no different, especially to the Eisenhart family and their only son. You may know him as Magnus, Eric, or Max, but if you ask him, he'd say his true name is Magneto. As a Jewish child in Nazi Germany, Magneto's early life was, well, extremely <laughs> Even after eventually escaping certain death with his future wife, misfortune always followed wherever he went. Thanks to his unexpected mutation called the X gene, the mark of a superhuman. After settling down in Russia with his new family, the KGB quickly found out about this quirk. So they burned his house down with his own daughter inside. What? Naturally, he snapped and killed them all. I don't blame him. I'd do that too. Too bad his wife didn't get it and ditched him though. But that's when Magneto made a choice. Since humans hurt him his entire life, he'd do the same to them in the name of mutants everywhere. At first, Magneto turned to the telepathic powerhouse Charles Xavier and his fledgling team of heroes. But his new friend wasn't thrilled with the idea of, uh, Saving them? the human race. So, Magneto formed his own team of mutants, the Brotherhood. Magneto can telekinetically move, bend, and reshape any metal he's aware of. Bullets, vehicles, buildings, you name it. Even himself when he manipulates his personal magnetic field for flight oh, and energy really? barriers. Magnetic kinesis is far more versatile than it would appear at first glance. The blood in your body has iron in it. The air has traces of lead and mercury. Whole mountains are lined with metallic ore. The earth itself is surrounded by a literal magnetic field. So many toys for Maggie to play with. He can detect magnetic fields at such a huge range. He can even pinpoint Earth's magnetic rays while stranded on a planet in another galaxy. And guess what? He was able to use those rays to pull himself back to Earth in a single day. His huh? range is even more remarkable than that. Did you know that in 1820, physicist Hans Christian Oersted discovered that electric currents, like those of electrons and protons and atoms, produce their own magnetic fields? Magneto can fine-tune his control to affect these very subatomic particles. Dummy here will illustrate such a particle, with positively charged protons and negative electrons. <sighs> My life is as meaningless as an atom is small. So what you're saying is Magneto could, like, yank one of those out? Correct. Potentially changing an atom's entire what? chemical makeup. So he can However, wait. Magneto can, can remove an atom without the ability to adjust those to accommodate the change in atomic mass. That's insane. The atom would become unstable and finally. What? Do that. Huh? Magneto's violent protest against humankind clashed with Xavier's peaceful reconciliation. Not unlike the ideologies taught by Malcolm X and Dr. King, by whom Stan Lee and Jack Kirby were inspired. Magneto would spend most of his career pushing Xavier away to prove his philosophy superior, which meant doing battle with Xavier's school of thought, quite literally. And Baldi's mind powers are no joke, but thanks to Magneto's psionic repelling helmet, Professor X couldn't touch him. Magneto survived Cyclops' earth-splitting lasers, absorbed the power of the sun to battle Iron Man, ripped the adamantium skeleton out of Wolverine's Damn. body, and even taken on Hercules himself. You know, huh? the Greek legend? Seriously? The, hero, the guy who held up the skies of Olympus for Atlas? That Hercules. Seems sensible. Magneto once used the Earth's magnetic field to overwhelm the Phoenix Force, which can effortlessly destroy planets, let alone far more. Hell, if he really wanted to, Magneto could totally just fling the Earth off its axis. 
It's entirely possible uh -huh. he may have eventually resorted to just that. Over time, it became clear Magneto's war was doing far more harm than good for his fellow mutants, however well-intentioned he may have been at first. Luckily, he later realized he was going a bit overboard and began reevaluating his perspective. <laughs> good for you, Mags. It's really tough to recognize when you're the baddie. It took time and patience not just from Magneto, but also from his peers. Yet eventually, his path was completely changed. He even became a leader for Xavier's X. But don't let oh. his new goody two shoes ways fool you. Whenever there's a threat to mutants, you can bet Magneto will be there to annihilate it. Forever. By any means necessary. Over 30 years ago, a new type of bomb was set off over Tokyo, and nine hours later began the Third World War. Welcome Ooh. to 2030, or 2019 if you're watching the anime. The buildings are taller, the motorcycles are cooler, and the future is brighter. Uh, no, not, wait, really. not really. If you find yourself in the capsule gang, you'll meet Shotaro Kanada, who's like your textbook anime Chad. Gets the ladies, beats the baddies, and cops the sweetest rigs. Man, I need to get me one of those. And then there's the little brother of the group, Kanada's best friend, Tetsuo Shima. He's... Well, the exact opposite. A total wimp. As a kid, Tetsuo oh. and his college thesis forehead got bullied for being the new kid at the orphanage. That's until Big Bro Canada came to the rescue. Eventually, the two went to vocational school together and formed the Capsules. But Tetsuo was never satisfied with Canada being the leader of the pack. Tetsuo desired more than anything to be top dog. Oh, I can just see that monkey's paw curling in my mind. Or that kid walking down the street. Shit, that's what I watch out your car. That definitely killed him. But since it didn't, Tetsuo earned himself a ticket to military confinement. Turns out they had an under-the-table program for developing child super weapons. In the same program oh, that dang. backfired and jump-started the war, Tetsuo became Japan's Esper number 41. He may not have been a natural with bikes, baddies, or babes, but this telekinesis stuff hit different. He walked out Damn. of the hospital ward effortlessly flying, reading minds, and blending people into strawberry jelly. Tetsuo got what he wanted, power, along with the hunger for more of it. A hunger that used to only be satiated with drugs. And not just any gateway drug, pills so potent that a single gram of the stuff could kill you. So, pretty bad. Kinda reminds me of college Damn. days, huh? Snow so it's like a drug addiction. Tetsuo's <laughs> main ability is his constantly increasing psionic energy, growing more and more powerful over time. This is due to Tetsuo's link to, quote, the memories of the universe, end quote. It's the memory of an entire way, universe? Tetsuo leveled up from lame gangbuster to certified badass. This guy is a walking natural disaster. His telekinesis can shake the planet, easily cause earthquakes over a dozen miles below the surface. He can summon psychic barriers for defense and crush foes with friggin' gravity wells. He can Damn. turn around as a literal bolt of lightning or even teleport in an instant. Tetsuo's telekinesis can be so precise he can target and obliterate specific parts of the body. What? He can heal severe wounds quickly, but even after losing a whole limb, he can craft a new one using whatever nearby material oh, he wants. Damn. With these powers, Top Dog Canada didn't matter anymore. Who needed his approval? Tetsuo tasted that good shit and he was hooked. And when he found out another Esper named Akira could deal him even more power, he rampaged through Tokyo to find him. And this is where versions of the story differ. Ahem, boilers ahoy! You may be familiar with the 1988 animation, where Akira had been dissected no, for research. However, in the original manga, Akira is not only alive, but even more powerful. Once that little runt nuked Tokyo, Tetsuo would erect the Great Tokyo Empire with Akira and himself as its leaders. But he ended up just abusing the position for endless sex and inflating his ego. With Kanada's rebellion at his front door, Tetsuo took a turn for the worse. He had to fight. Tetsuo's defeated other powerful espers, dodged light speed lasers, and jumped to the moon faster than anyone could blink, and then punched hey. a big old hole in it. And if you ask, Boomstick, wouldn't that mess up gravity on Earth? You would be right, because it totally did. <laughs> it, I guess. Stupid moon. Which brings us to Tetsuo's folly. His abuse of his powers spiraled until he lost control. Unfortunately oh. for Kanada's rebellion, this did not make Tetsuo an easier enemy to confront. Exactly opposite, in fact, has Tetsuo painfully mutated into an Dang. unstoppable behemoth. Yep. What the heck? Totally disturbing it all. I'm happy to say the manga's version oh my is God. even more disturbing. 
I mean, I know babies can be monsters, but that's a whole nother level. It is pain incarnate. I can relate. Another esper described Tetsuo's struggle as ego death, which has multiple definitions, but in this case, is likely symbolic of the version attributed to drug use. Yeah, it's described as a shedding of one's own identity, like how LSD can emulate a wild out-of-body experience and you come back with a new perspective. Though this is maybe a little more extreme. In fact, you could say Tetsuo was shedding his human body to play with the powers of a god. I wish I could shed out of my body. But in this case, Tetsuo oh going full out of the body meant becoming a mound of raw, ever-expanding energy. Which almost nuked Tokyo all over again. And those explosions Seriously? are not normal. I would know. Top scientists in both the manga and animated versions describe these explosions as births of a new universe. Birth of a new, new universe? Proton Jesus, what did they mean? Jimmy the form was likely creating a big bang. You know, the thing that started our whole universe? Right. In the manga, it instead ended the espers and their abilities once and for all. A testament that humankind is unsuited to wield the powers of the divine. Though the anime is even more trippy. Thanks to Akira and his buddies, Tetsuo got so high on ego death, he ascended time space to become god of a new universe. Kind, kind of worth it, right? And yet, Canada kept his empire up in his honor. Now as the great Akira Empire. Ironically, in death, Tetsuo finally received the attention he so desperately craved. All right, the combatants are set. We've run okay, the data all for possible. this one. I'm going for it's time for a death battle. Because I, I'm not sure. Because I think I'm going for the for this. Even in Japan, they fail to recognize our superiority. Wrong country, Grandpa. You're an Akira turf now. <laughs> of magnetism Is this the end? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god.
Wow. Thank you. <sighs> you are welcome. Dang. KO! Ketsuo! <laughs> oh, God, God. I'm never doing that again. Tetsuo's esoteric telekinesis and other bizarre abilities certainly gave Magneto pause, but the Master of Magnetism had greater control over his foe. The numbers don't lie. Tetsuo cratering the moon was insane, but Magneto punched Iron Man with the force of the sun. And while Tetsuo jumped all the way to the moon, Magneto could move across galaxies. Against Tetsuo in his human form, Magneto obviously held a sizable advantage in power and speed. But stats aren't all that matters. With his precise telekinesis, Tetsuo could just target Magneto's organs. GG, right? Yes, but Magneto had similar skills. There are very few substances on Earth that lack any metallic or magnetic component. And Magneto is very creative with his powers. Which he could use to predict Tetsuo's teleportation and even shut down his telekinesis. And his scraps with Xavier prove he could handle Tetsuo's messing with his head. The biggest challenge for Magneto was when Tetsuo's gross... Yeah, this one, like, I thought it was gonna end. How did he do that? How the the, definitions he from this form were compared like, to that of a powers. big bang. Although the authenticity of that observation is questionable. In truth, the Big Bang was a sudden expansion of matter on a universal scale, whereas Tetsuo's okay. explosions are more akin to nuclear blasts, clearly intentional given the post-war symbolism of the Akira story. The whole creating an alternate universe bit wasn't even part of the original material, so we can't exactly call it canon. But let's just say the comparison wasn't superfluous. Let's say Tetsuo did in fact cause a Big Bang capable of creating or destroying an entire universe, alternate or otherwise. Turns out Magneto had the tools to stop that too. Helmet Head could overpower Hercules, who was strong enough to hold up the skies of Olympus, which is literally heaven and an alternate universe. This doesn't necessarily mean Magneto could easily destroy a universe with a snap of his fingers, but it does prove he can match a similar level of power. And context is everything. Tetsuo's Big Bang eruption specifically exhibited proton collapse, meaning its atomic structure was primarily an unstable mess of neutrons and electrons. And Magneto has detected and commanded unstable electrons before. This means Magneto had every means available to take control over this Big Bang. Damn, Wait, so he controlled he the big bang? It's like the question posed by some of the greatest prophets of our time. Fucking magnets. How do they even work? Magnet's <laughs> astonishing power and intelligent control over all things magnetism triumphed in the end. Tetsuo pushed his luck, but didn't have the metal to pull off the win. Ah, the winner nice. is Magneto. Okay, so that was the end of the death battle. Um... Holy shit! Uh, at the end, I thought I thought Magneto was done for, but uh, nope. He legit like controlled the Big Bang. I think that's what it calls. Cause correct me if I'm wrong. But then like he controlled it and then use it against Akira. Holy shit! Um, yeah. Uh, for Akira, uh, the anime. Uh, no, Tetsuo. That's the name of the guy. Tetsuo. The te Tetsuo from the anime. What kind of anime is that? It just, it looks like very. Tragic law. And the fact that Tetsuo become like that at the end, legit, what were the animators were thinking like that was okay? <laughs> so yeah, I have no other things to say about this death battle. Um uh other than uh congrats to Manito for winning uh at the end I thought like damn it, that's it. <laughs> but then I went control I thought like control is like the control the universe or something, but apparently I think it's the big bang. It was legit shocked me. I thought that was the end because I, uh, uh, I says I don't, I'm, I'm not sure if they said it, but then like it's Tetsuo that when he reached to that form, it's like it becomes a nuclear bomb. So like, how the heck does Magneto survive this? Um, apparently he can, uh, the power of magnetism is greater than we thought. So yeah, I don't know, guys. I just don't know. So yeah. That's all for today guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, plus the notification button for more future videos. Also, I'd be very really pleased if you can recommend me some more videos you want me to react to, put that in the comments, I'll really appreciate that. Now, that's all, hope to see you guys next time. Take care and peace.